All right, I came home, I got a package. I'm super excited about this one. What's up YouTube, how's everyone doing? Chaz Barber coming back at you. Now again, I know that I posted a video just not too long ago, but I came home from work and I had this package waiting for me. Now this package is from Art of Play and I ordered something very special. I ordered the uh, the new Fulton's Casino playing cards that they just came out with. Now the last time that the Fulton's were printed uh, was 2012. Uh, so Christmas Day, uh, Art of Play did a release of these playing cards. They were super limited. I think there's only about 2,500 decks out in the entire world. Uh, they sold out in about an hour to two hours. Uh, I went ahead and I snagged four of the decks. The package came in today, so without any further ado, let's open them up because I'm super excited to see what they look like. So the first thing, nice little Art of Play sticker. Right there, that's pretty cool. I actually really like that the, with the, the red and the metallic. I'm going to keep that right there. There we go, that's one, two, three, and four. All right, so we can get rid of the packaging now. So here's what we got. We've got four decks. And as you can see, this is the front. This is what the front of the tuck case looks like. This is what the back of the tuck case looks like. So the front and the backs uh, match identically. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll take a look. Uh, Cambric 37, made in the USA on the bottom. Ace Fulton Casino up top. Uh, emblem there covered by the seal. And then the D&D Playing Card Company. So the D&D Playing Card Company. Um, also, on the seal, you can see the seal says the Dan and Dave Playing Card Company. So that's pretty cool. I already like the tuck case. It's very... Uh, it's very retro, very simplistic and very retro. Um, so I really like the way that that looks right now. Um, just gonna go ahead, leave that there for the thumbnail pick real quick. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's actually open one of these up. Now we can see that either there's, I don't see a preparation for the pool tab. So I guess you actually have to use your nail and get in there and pull it up. Um, again, I don't keep any cellophane on the decks that I use. I am planning on using at least one of these. So I'm going to take the cellophane and move the cellophane off. Um, now the box, uh, it's just a very flat cardboard. Um, I feel like this is the kind of box, honestly, that might get damaged very quickly if you put in like a card guard or or something like that um, but it's not the cards it's not the, the tuck case that's important it is the cards themselves so on the flaps you see that there's also the 37 to match the cambric 37 there um, on the flap here on the front flap I'm not sure how good that's going to appear in the footage, but there is a little spade emblem uh, almost kind of stamped down into there. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the cards. We'll open them up. First thing is the two jokers. Ooh, these, these feel, these feel very nice. Um, if, they, if you have the Fulton's clip joints, I'm going to say the clip joints, when they, when, when you open them up, they're a little bit they feel thick. Um, these don't feel as thick. They feel as thick as a normal bicycle stock, but at the same time, they feel thinner. Like they feel thinner. I'm not not too sure how to describe it, but uh, let's get into the cards themselves. Uh, matching jokers, which are very nice. Uh, let's take a look at the backs though first. Um, okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, Ace Fulton's Casino. 
Okay, so the cards, they are a, uh, they're not one way. They are symmetric, which is very nice. Very simplistic, very easy. That that dark green with the uh, the gold lettering, very easy to, to read. I like simplistic decks. Um, I'm already in love with this. Again, this just has a whole feel of, of retro. I'm really digging the, the retro feel. Um, so again, you start off, you have two matching jokers right there. Uh, two matching jokers. That is the Ace of Spades. Yeah. So that's the Ace of Spades. Uh, we'll go ahead. We will get to the uh, the court cards. So the court cards are very cool. As you can see, they put a little bit of the uh, the casino green as the highlight color in the uh, in the court cards. So that's a very nice touch. Again, that's the spades. Get to the diamonds. Very nice for the diamonds. Clubs as well. Now, it looks like the court cards are standard, um, which there's nothing wrong with that. Diamonds, and then that's the hearts. And then you get your two add cards. First add card is the Ace Fulton's uh, Poker Room and Lounge, it says there. And then on the back, it's actually they inverted it. So this is a cool little add card. Uh, this is uh, gold with green instead of green with gold. Uh, that's a very nice little touch that they did there. Okay. And then the... Let's see here. This is a cool little thing. Uh, let's see here. It says, live, Brenda Fulton's world-famous tip sheet. Uh, play the Ponies, Best Horse Betting in Vegas, Kentucky Derby Live on the Jumbo Tribe. So that's pretty cool. And then let's see what it has to say here. Again, bear with me because I'm going to be reading upside down. Uh, Fulton's Casino, number one, play the Rush, get the eye. Number two, the only mechanic here is in our garage. Okay, so the only mechanic here is in our garage. Number three, hold your own and have a drink on us. Number four, bring the grease, feel the heat. Number five, tip the dolls or take it on the heel and, and toe. Number six, boiler maker and boiler makers and rusty nails, nurse losing nurse losing hands. Okay, boiler makers and rusty nails, nurse losing hands. Got it. Again, reading upside down, bear with me, I apologize. Uh, number seven, fish and shark are welcome, Fulton's... <laughs> Fulton's of Pisces. Okay. Now with the... Now hit the tables and have some fun. Ace Fulton's Casino, uh, designed by Brad Fulton, uh, produced by Dan and Dave, and illustrated by Dan Phillips. So that's cool. Ad card. Uh talks about basically the house rules of the casino, if it actually was a casino. Again, these feel very nice. I'm going to say that they're... I can't really tell like if they're crushed, but just the stock on them, it's a very... It's a very nice stock. Again, the cards, they do feel crushed because they feel thinner, but again, the interesting thing is that it feels like a, like a thicker deck. So I, I almost want to say that whatever stock it is it's, it's allowed for for more air through the cards um again i'm very impressed so far with everything with the cards um hopefully i can get a uh a video together and just maybe of me handling them maybe doing a couple cuts and everything and uh we'll take it from there but uh right as of right now i am very impressed with these cards. Um, ah, I missed one. That's all right. Um, again, they feel fantastic. Um, and there's just not much more that I can say about them. Uh, very simplistic. Very nice. Simple deck. I'm very impressed with them. And I am going to plan on using them. So that's all that I got. Guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that you enjoyed uh, 
checking the, out this deck, the reveal. Don't be afraid to go ahead. Uh, if you have an interest in playing cards, definitely go check out artofplay.com. Uh, Dan and Dave Buck, the Buck Twins, uh, and Art of Play is actually owned by Vanishing Inc. now, so good on that. Um, I'll leave a link down to Vanish, uh, to uh, Art of Play down in the description below. Um, don't forget to go ahead, hit a like if you like this video, and if you want to go ahead and follow me, push the subscribe button along with the bell to no get notified. Guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Again, I'm Chaz Barber, and I'll catch you later. Bye.